Hello everyone, this is Dave from Unplugged Woodworking and today I'm going to show you how to make a phone slash tablet stand. This is very very quick project, you can do it in approximately 15 minutes. If you're a beginner beginner it may take you a little bit longer but it's still going to be very quick. The design has a lot of potential to do all the stuff to it. Me personally I just want this to be a functional uh, a functional holder so that's all it's going to be and I'm going to show you how to do this with hand tools. I'm only going to use several hand tools it's going to be very very quick. So before I get into it uh, if you like what you see give us a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, if you want to see future videos like this and other projects, got lots of projects planned for the new year, lots of furniture builds on this guy here, which is a Roman workbench, all with hand tools. So if you want to see things like this going on, don't forget to subscribe, uh, share the videos, comments, let us know what you want to see, let us know what you think. Uh, I'd really appreciate some feedback uh, and I'm going to get straight into this. Okay, so what I've got here is some scrap oak. Uh, this was left over of a project. Uh, it's approximately three inches. Um, depending on what you're using, you don't have to have something as wide, or you maybe want something a little bit wider if you're using some sort of big tablets. Um, it all depends what you're doing with it. So is what I'm going to do first is measure out some lines. Um, if you have got something like this, something of this length, don't cut it down to size straight away. It is going to be easier for you to basically clamp the thing down or hold the thing as you make some cuts. Okay, so I'm just going to square some lines. Uh, this is going to be my start line because I have got a couple of saw cuts here. And then is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make another line approximately six inches. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the first line I made and then I'm going to use the, the width of this square, which is approximately three quarters of an inch, slightly over three quarters of an inch. And I've marked it. Now, this is just going to be for where we're actually going to put the groove or create the groove roller for the mobile phone or the tablets uh, to sit in. So is what I'm going to do now it's basically measure on my phone. So this is prim primarily going to be for my phone, although I may use a tablet in this, possibly. So it's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my combination square, and I'm just gonna put it down like that. I'm gonna lock it into place, and it is five, six, seven, eight, nine so i've got about um nine millimeters here so i have actually got this this uh kind of rubber plastic -y case on and this stays on all the time i never ever take this off so obviously i'm compensating for this as well so is what i'm going to do i've got nine millimeters here i'm actually going to give it i'm going to give it 10 millimeters So this allows this allows it to go in there yeah, to for the phone to go in nice and easy and it also allows for a bit of a slant because if the hole's oversized the phone will naturally slant, you'll push it back and it'll slant naturally, so you don't have to concern yourself about cutting on an angle. And this is what I wanted. I didn't want it to be complicated for people, I just wanted it to be nice, easy square cuts, which it is going to be. So once I've done that same again, I'm going to square across. And now I'm going to square all my lines across uh, the edges. Okay, so now I'm just going to use a gauge and mark the depth of cuts for the groove I'm going to put in. I've decided 8mm for this. You might decide a little bit more. Don't forget that when you're taking this to depth, the, the deeper you take it, 
the more it's going to cut into the screen section so bear that in mind but you don't want it so shallow that it's going to keep on falling out so a good rule of thumb that, that may be better for yourselves is to actually only mark out this line and these two lines first cut this to depth and see how you feel about it if you're not happy with it you can basically just redraw the lines and you can cut this off when you're ready to cut it off providing that you've got a, a nice long piece like this um, you know you could even use pallet wood for this as long as it's thick enough so you might want to do that and also I've added a millimeter to this if you've added maybe one millimeter two millimeters three millimeters and you're not happy with the angle if it's too slack or whatever you know you've also you've also got that uh, leeway to actually re recut this so if you have got the length I would advise you to to leave cutting this line till like as late as possible Now is what I'm going to do, I'm going to score the lines uh, for these two lines, so I'm just using my marking knife, this is only one of my marking knives, I can't find my preferred marking knife, I have no idea where it is, so we're just going to do a couple of lines with the knife. And see them on the edges. Going to find the edge. Now I'm just going to take my chisel and take it just before the line. For anyone that doesn't know, this actually just creates a little valley uh, to accept the saw blade. Do the same the other side. Okay, so now I'm just going to cut yeah these these two uh, lines here i'm using a japanese saw you could use a western saw a tenon saw anything like that will, will do the job um if anybody is interested in one of these saws or some of the tools i've been using there will be an affiliate link uh, so check that out if you want to check that out <laughs> Don't forget to check your line as you're cutting. Once those lines are cut, I'm just going to remove the waste with a chisel and a mallet. So you'll notice I'm not going all the way to the line. And before I clean this up too much, I'm actually just going to sit my phone in it and see what it looks like. I'm not actually happy with the depth of this I believe it could be a little bit steeper and it's going to be better so I'm going to I'm going to deepen this 
So I have already uh, made the lines for this and I'm going to take this down to four, the depth of it's going to be 14 millimeters now. <sighs> now I'm just cleaning up the edges uh, with a bigger, bigger chisel. You might be kind of slightly off square, which I am. So I'm just squaring these up a little. Now I'm just going to try my phone again. That seems a lot better now. Okay, so now I'm ready to cut this to length. Okay, so now I'm just putting a chamfer on all the edges. This is optional, you don't have to do this, I'm just choosing to do so. Something to note is that I am actually using a non-slip mat. Um, for small things like this, these mats come in really, really handy where you would struggle to put clamps on these and be able to get your hands and your tools. So these do a great job, highly recommended. You can pick these up for like a pound in England and I'm guessing in America, you know, you might get them in the dollar store, something like that. So very handy. Just for these edges, I'm just using uh, a regular file. If you don't have a file, you could use some sandpaper. It's just gonna take you a little bit longer. Or you could even remove uh, the corners with a chisel. As, as long as you take your time and you be careful, you should get some good results. And now I'm just gonna finish everything off with some sandpaper. Okay, so there we go. You know, it doesn't come any any more simpler than that, and it's functional. If you wanted to, you could basically drill some holes in the back to house some pens and pencils if you were keeping this on a desk. You know, so it does have a lot of possibilities for it being such a simple project. You know, you can do a lot with it. You could, you know, you get really creative with this. But for what I wanted for, you know, this is enough for me. I'm probably going to put some Danish oil on this just off camera, you know, not, nothing special, just just to give it a little uh, a look more than protection because I think this, this isn't going to leave the house, you know. So if you like what you've seen, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, um, click the subscribe button just there if you're on a desktop, be most appreciated. Comment, let us know what you think. Um, I'd love to see anybody else that's done something like this for hand tools just to see what designs you've done 
leave some comments let us know what you want to see in the future uh, thanks for watching